So today I am here with my good friend, Keegan Allen, who has this amazing book, Life, Love, Beauty, which I am so excited about. This is insane. How and when and why did you come up with this book? The concept of it came to me because of these elements, life, love, beauty, that we all experience throughout our existence. My composition notebook, since I was around like 10 years old, 11 years old, I would take photos and then put them into a journal and then write about it and keep it. If you liked yeah. a girl or something, you'd be like, here, I took a photo of you. Like, I went out and did self-portraits because this girl was telling me that she really liked Mount Whitney. And so I went to the, climbed the base of Mount Whitney and this took self-portraits um, and gave it to her. Oh my gosh, yeah. you can just see your little face, you're like, here I am. <laughs> okay, now, when we were doing our photo, mm -hmm. what did we do that day? You picked just, me up. Yeah, we just wanted to drive the roadster down the coast and there was no one around except this one guy on his phone. One guy on the phone, the like some guard. agent or something. Yeah. And then the lifeguard was, was just like perfectly driving in, which was amazing. You don't shoot it on an iPhone. I, I, I don't. I love the romantic nature of emulsification and film and waiting for the photo. So I like to shoot film. I have a few digital photos, but most of them are, you know, film and are shot, you know, on different kinds of film. I have like Lomachrome, which is like a purple infrared film in here. So it's like you're buying the film that already has a, like the filter on it. Yeah. When you're taking the photo, like, what are you thinking? Like, is it about composition? Is it about lighting for you when you're taking it? Like, what makes you want to take the photo and pay a dollar to get it developed? Most of it's because I like to capture moments and experience them with people later. So I really wanted to share this experience. It was all just that idea to step into the photo and experience with your own life, your, maybe your retrospect of your childhood. Half of the book exists as it is right now, mm -hmm. and then the other half is the interaction that people will have with it. Being able to open up to any page and kind of experience uh, their own way of interpretation, right. but also peering from into a box of glowing romantic slides. How old were you when you got your first camera? I was 10 years old and my dad let me borrow his Leica. This is the first photo I ever took by myself. And if you look, it's like kind oh, of cool. like a little bit soft and um, and like silhouetted in certain ways. And like, because I was like a kid, you know, and there were little fireflies flying in and out of the lens. So the light meter was bouncing around and I was sopping wet because it was a heat wave and I would go in this is before cell phones or any technology, right. so I could just jump in the shower with all my clothes on right. and like, you know, ice myself up because it was so hot and then put the camera back on and ran back outside and then wipe the lens with my wet shirt so it has like this really soft effect and there were so many elements that composed the first photo that I ever took and I didn't appreciate it obviously at the time but looking back and kind of remembering mm -hmm. and reading what I had written was, was interesting. Photography is is one of the most important means of human communication and, and imagery because we feel so much from what we see. It's a great way of communication amongst you know yourself, your inner self and your you know, inner counselor and all of these things. I see a lot of photos of the fans. Is that something that you like to do when you go to different places and stuff? Yeah, because they get so uh, they get so emotional and they love you know they love getting their photos taken too kind of this strong energy between us when I take it. Take it so right. Excited. Yeah. Getting that other perspective was so cool because not a lot of people see that. Like yeah. they only see the photos of people on the red carpet or the people on stage. But then to get like that alternate view was really cool. Yeah, this is me. awesome. I love this photo. Is there a place that you have in your mind that you haven't been to yet that mm -hmm. you would want to Go to the Tapui where? is in Mount Riroma. There are mountains above the clouds. It almost looks like something out of a science fiction world. I actually want to fly my own plane over them and then take photos from the plane. It would be so cool. Wait till you see it. So it Keegan just world. doesn't like to just do something <laughs> simple. You want to get your your plane license, yeah, pilot license. I can, fly, I can fly a plane. It's oh, you can. Yeah, I just I but I would have to bring someone with me because the winds I think are a little bit. So cool. why aren't we married? I love to travel. <laughs> you love to fly. Let's just do this. Say we could just do it. Right I now. mean, <laughs> let's do take it. Take photos. <laughs> <laughs> can I suggest something for your next book? Yeah. I think because you have such pretty eyes, those should be like on the cover next time, like blank. Just the he, eyes. Just your eyes, like just the blueness, people. I mean, come on. 
You can find out more information about the tours, uh, book everything on www.keganallenbook.com. That's not hard to remember. Life, love, beauty. have it, my exclusive sneak peek with Keegan's new book, Life Loves Beauty, on stands February 3rd. Be sure to check it out. And also let me know who you would like me to Barbara Walters interview style next time. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, see you guys later.